There are a lot of things the Taken King has decided not to hold your hand with, leaving you to work it out all for yourself. Today I present you with 7 useful things you may not know in the Taken King. I'm going to start us off with a big one. Did you know you can use rare gear to infuse your legendary gear to higher light levels? You can even use gear from other classes to infuse. For example, if I get a rare helmet on my hunter that has a really high light level, but not quite as high as my current one, I can vault it and save it to use for infusing on my warlock. Moving on to my controversial comment of the day, Night Stalkers are now the most useful class in PvE. Now before you start screaming Warlock Master Race in the comments, I run all three characters, with a combined total of over 40 days game time across all of them. So why are Night Stalkers so useful? Well, when an enemy is tethered, they actually take significantly increased body and precision damage. This makes the Night Stalker absolutely pivotal when it comes to DPSing a boss. Make a call out to your team that you're about to shadow shot the boss, and then start hailing down on them with whatever weapons you have. From experience, rockets can do well over 10k damage each. When it comes to using Shadow Shot on the boss, you should definitely be using the Black Hole perk. This will increase the duration of your tethers, allowing your team to do increased damage for longer. However, when it comes to killing groups of enemies, I'd recommend using Bloodbound. This perk causes all tethered enemies to take shared damage. Now, don't get me wrong when I say shared damage, it isn't actually split across all enemies. They actually take full damage equally. A quick one for you next, did you know smoke grenades are actually stickies? No need to try and carefully aim at someone's feet, just chuck it out of the wall, their face, or even their crotch. We all know that feeling of acquiring an awesome new weapon or piece of armor, and it can be a massive downer to see how slowly you start gaining XP. But what you may not know is you can now actually use most of lights to quickly put in a lot of XP in a very short amount of time. While some may call this a waste, it can come in very handy if you need the weapon to be ready there and then for something like the Raid or Trials of Osiris. When choosing a gunsmith order, don't panic if you pick the weapon you don't like. You can actually go into your inventory, dismantle it, and just pick another one. When decrypting engrams at the Crypt Arc, make sure you're wearing your highest level gear to ensure that the weapons and armor you receive are more likely to have a higher attack or defense level on them. I would even take it one step further and open the engrams one at a time to see if the gear you just got is of a higher level so that you can boost yourself even higher for your next engram. Finally, when completing a quest, you will often get a reward to pick up at the tower. But did you know, if you don't like the stats or the perk roll you received, you can leave it a day and they will actually re-roll. This is great if you're someone who prefers a certain weapon type. If I go to the tower and see the class item reward has increased auto rifle XP, there's no need for me to panic. Simply leave it in the vendor and keep checking back each day until it has something I prefer. Like increased scout rifle XP for example. Okay guys, that's everything. If you enjoyed this video, please do let me know in the comments because I love reading what you guys have to say. Also, feel free to let me know if there's something you think I missed off the list because, you know, I'm not perfect and I'm just one guy playing games. Thank you all so very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Destin over and out, Guardians.